Tyco Electronics introduces the all-in-one CSJ cold shrinkable joint for 15 kV and 25 and 28 kV cables. This video does not take the place of installation instructions, but helps to illustrate the installation. Warning, when installing electrical power system accessories, failure to follow applicable personal safety requirements and written installation instructions could result in fire or explosion and serious or fatal injuries. As Tyco Electronics has no control over field conditions which influence product installation, it is understood that the user must take this into account and apply his own experience and expertise when installing this product. Slide the splice body over the cable end so that the release strip of the spiral holdout points toward the cable end. Insert the conductors so that the insulation butts up with the end of the connector. And tighten the shear bolts so that the connector stays in place. As we can see here, we will need between 13 and a half and 14 and a quarter inches between the semicon cutbacks for proper placement of the splice body. This is known as a fail-safe measurement. Alternately tighten the bolts with a socket wrench until the bolts shear off. Follow the tightening sequence as shown in the drawing of your installation instructions. Install several turns of marking tape onto the cable semicon. One and a half inches from the semicon cutback is shown. This will be a guide for installing the splice body. The tape should be installed on the same side where the splice body is parked. File smooth any remaining part of the bolt that remains higher than the connector. Abrade the insulation if needed and then clean the insulation using an approved solvent. Clean and degrease the connector area. With a gloved hand, lubricate the cable insulation with the supplied DCC compound. Be sure to use extra compound at the semicon cutbacks. Lubricate the connector area last. Important point, use all of the DCC compound supplied to help fill any voids and use only the compound provided in the kit. Position the splice body so that the silicone body's edge is aligned with the marking tape. Release the spiral holdout by pulling counterclockwise while holding the splice body in place. The spiral holdout cannot be pulled out all at once. Slowly pull the spiral holdout on top of the cable and then pass it around and underneath the cable until the spiral has been completely removed. Important hint, the splice body must remain aligned with the marking tape while the spiral holdout is released. Once the splice is partially shrunk, adjacent to the marking tape, there's no need to hold the splice. Use two hands at this point to remove the remaining holdout. Remove the black tape holding the ends of the mesh sock wires. Remove the tape. Flare the concentric neutral wires as shown. Cut the neutrals to one and a half to two inches as shown. If an external ground needs to emerge on one side of the splice, cut the neutral wires on one side of the splice only. Otherwise, Trim the neutral wires on both sides.
To avoid having neutral wires exiting the splice, it is possible to run an external ground using the ground braid provided in a Tyco Electronics external ground kit. Install the small F-size spring clamp at the jacket cutback directly over the cable jacket. Wrap four turns of copper mesh over the installed spring clamp. Lay the neutral wires back over the cable, press tightly against the copper mesh. Install a G-size spring clamp. Apply two turns of the spring clamp and then fold the neutral sock back into the spring clamp connection. Then, apply the rest of the spring clamp. Repeat for the other side of the splice. Take over the spring clamp and expose neutral wires to cover any sharp edges. Abrade the cable jacket. Repeat for the other side of the splice. Wrap one strip of gray mastic around the cable jacket one half inch from the edge of the spring clamp. Do not stretch the mastic. Repeat the same procedure on the other side of the splice. Wipe any grease material off of the black rejacketing sleeve to allow for a positive grip. Twist the black rejacketing sleeve from side to side to release the grease. Slide over the cable jacket. Repeat for the other side of the splice.